Good morning. Good morning, Father. I welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration where we remind ourselves of our patience, asking God for His love to serve us in our lives. In a special way, also, we pray for the intentions of Nathan Perry, Theodora and Tiffany, Mary Beachview, Cameron, Jacqueline, Tia, Thor, and Eden, Mary, Priyana, and Rudicular. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins, asking God forgiveness and mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life and the life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity who bestow the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin St. Maria Correct in her youth. Grant that we pray through her intercession that as you give her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the course of the night, Jacob arose took his two wives with the two maid servants and his eleven children and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. After he had taken them across the stream and had brought over all his possessions, Jacob was left there alone. Then some man wrestled with him until the break of dawn. When the man saw that he could not prevail over him, he struck Jacob's hip at a soccer socket, so that the hip socket was wrenched as they wrestled. The man then said, Let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. The man said, asked, What is your name? He answered, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be spoken of as Jacob, but as Israel, because you have contended with divine and human beings and have prevailed. Jacob then asked him, Do tell me your name, please. He answered, Why should you want to know my name? With that, he bade him farewell. Jacob named the place Penel, because I have seen God face to face, he said, yet my life has been spared. At sunrise, as he left Penel, Jacob limped on because of his hip. That is why to this day, the children of Israel do not eat the sciatic muscle that is on the hip socket. Inasmuch as Jacob's hip socket was struck at the sciatic muscle. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. 
Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. In justice I shall be holy in your face, O Lord. From you let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night. Though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. In justice I shall behold your face, O Lord. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes. In justice I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. I, in justice, shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives up demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around all the towns and villages, fishing in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a sheep. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be the Lord Jesus Christ. Please proceed. In the responsorial psalm, the psalmist has said, uh, I couldn't find it now. Where he talked about malice. Malice. And you look at the gospel narrative. When Jesus was doing the good work, the Pharisees show up and said, Oh, it was through the demons that he drives out demons. Malice. You shall find no malice in me. You shall find no malice in me. Though you test my heart, search it in the mind, you will find no malice in me. And we know what malice, malice is like a pregnant woman who will give birth to the boy or girl or twins. So malice is like pregnant evil. We give birth to hatred, give birth to jealousy, give birth to anger, and all sorts of vices. So the most important thing is to be conscious, to be aware 
to be in the notice. Why am I saying this? Is it out of justice? Because the Sun Minister said, in justice, before justice, with justice, we will present our case before the Lord. But in malice, like the Pharisees today, what will you present? You will present anger. You will present jealousy. You will present envy. And sometimes, what you have is what you see. Because you have hatred inside you, that's why you see hatred in everything. But if you have love inside you, even when that person is falling, you will see forgiveness. You will see the weakness, but you will see it is a duty for me to help. Not jealousy, not anger, not hatred. And in conclusion, as we continue to ask God to remove the malice, the carnage, the pregnancy of marriage, of uh, malice, and we are asking God to bring in the pregnancy of love where we can find the joy, the happiness. And I will say to you, in small terms, not in big terms, what Jacob was doing was prayer. Um, the battle with the angel, the battle with God, that is their language. He was praying for God to help him. The story said he changed the location. And he did to know what is God's plan for me. And he went into prayer. So, in the same way, uh, this battle of life, a gift from God, we will always engage in prayer. Sometimes it will be very easy, like I said yesterday. Sometimes it will be very easy. But sometimes very difficult. You have to rest, you have to pray, you have to ask. And like I said, if you want to win 100 meters, only 10 seconds. 10 seconds. <laughs> if you want to win 10 seconds, straight. maybe what you put in to win it, maybe two years of training, hard work. And people say, why are you doing all this for just 10 seconds? <laughs> so in the same way, you pray, you fast. The act of God in this prayer might be one second. One second, everything will change. So in that struggle, you will think, why is Jacob fighting the angel? Why all this? But that one second, that one minute, of God's presence will change everything. It will turn your life around. So I say to you, we continue to pray, even when we don't see the light. You continue to pray until the day of the speed or the competition. In the same way, you continue to pray until the day God will visit you and change your life and remove the spirit of malice and implant the spirit of love. As we continue to pray for Nathan, Ken, Theodora, and Tiffany, Mary, with you, Cameron, Jacqueline, Theodore, and Peter, Eric, Rihanna, and Ruby Tevani, we remember all those who requested for our prayers, especially our parishioners. May God in His mercy continue to show them love. Give them the spirit of love, the spirit of charity, the spirit of justice, the spirit of peace, the spirit of happiness. And take away the spirit of minds that brings hatred, anger, jealousy, and war within our family. May God in His mercy continue to guide and protect our thoughts, our hearts, and our wounds. How many who have arrived here this morning? Please, the Almighty God, to only shower His blessings on us, so that our intentions, our prayers, and our prayers will be acceptable by Him, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please receive it.
blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for you have blessed, you have received the bread, we offer you fruit of the earth, and the walk of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received your wine, we offer you good of the time, and the work of human kindness is to come for us the spirit of prayer. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of our holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as He makes our prayers to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever a greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, for the Father, Almighty, and eternal God through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess we live in faith. And his coming in glory we await with power and hope. And so with all the angels are sent, we praise you as without end we have to live. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and found of all holiness. Let God be there for all these gifts we pray by sending thine your spirit upon them like the do for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered for them into his passion and came to bread, giving thanks, brought it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, Allah, here and pick up this, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when each of our standard did the Chinese, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this to the great promise, for this is the Chinese of my Lord, the blood of the Holy Eternal Covenant, which will be poured out for you after many people, so things. Do this in the mouth of food. That may sure have to save us. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the service of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us for the in your presence and minister to you. And we pray that the taking of the body and blood of Christ you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the war and bring time to the of charity together with Francis of both Pastor, Bishop, and all the places. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. That we be blessed by the very one of our Jesus as far as we be blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased throughout the ages. We may very to enjoy his eternal life from your spirits and glorify in your son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, and in the of the Holy Spirit, all oh glory and all his works, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, upon my divine teaching, we are to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who 
those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, and pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. Everybody help of our mercy. We may be always free from sin and saved from all this as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in our current with your will, who live and live for right and right. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the suffer of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, says the Lord. Let us go. Having consumed these things, we pray, O oh Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. We pray, our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Our might God continue to bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, the Lord, and the Son. Thanks be to God. Have a very nice Thank you, Father. Uh, once again, remember, it's time to sponsor the seminary <laughs> through me. <laughs> so, we shall win. <laughs> so remember to do that. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father.